I guess <clears throat> I guess you can consider this part three. Uh, I went on Bitly and actually made a short link. Yeah, Bitly slash Unbrick HP. Um, bring it over here. Full size it. Bitly slash <laughs> Bitly slash Unbrick HP. So yeah, you're the first to save this link. Awesome. So, oh, done, 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 done. All right, now we inject it or eject it, and then take this little tiny thingy, majig, and then put it in the side of the computer while this is turning on. Every computer is different. Some is delete. Some is F2. Some is escape. Oh, I didn't do it in time. I hit the wrong one actually. All right now it's going to boot up and it's going to ask me to choose and I'm going to go storage. Then it's going to say you run. And it's going to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Let's see my messy living room. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> this is going to take a minute, so I will be right back. Alright, so my screen did something. Wait, I got my little mouse with me today because it's so much easier than using the little trackpad. Is it going to do something? Okay. So, click the little Wi-Fi icon. I'm going to choose more networks. It's cool, this thing has a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network inside it. So I'll type in my secret. Top secret. Password. Which is not password. <laughs> and then it should connect up here. Unless I stupidly typed it in wrong. I probably did. Connect. Okay, I don't know why it's not want to connect, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it now. Oh, you would all connect right as I freaking stop it. Anyways, so you open up your Firefox browser. Um, make it full screen if you really want. Type in bit. Lee slash HP or unbrick HP and bam look at that how awesome is that let's go ahead and make this over here and then go ahead and click that save file okay let that down. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. From a freaking live CD. Alright, so then we also click this one. And we wait 10 seconds. If it doesn't work, I'll just log into my sponsor account. Sponsor account's freaking worth it. I got like nine different Android devices. And all of them don't have to wait that 10 second wait. Alright, so we just wait for this to finish downloading, and then we come back. This is what happens when it runs from a slow flash drive. It just locks up. See? You can't touch or do anything, like, on the screen. 
you just gotta wait a second for it to catch up. That's a good part to start it, because this finished up. I've got like the old um, part 2 uploading for to Dropbox for my phone, and I got stuff downloading and uploading all over the place, so. Let's go ahead and close that out. I'll go over here, and we'll type in uh, T-E-R, and then Terminal opens up. And then we'll take Terminal, and we'll go bring it over here, and then... You can just like copy that, paste it, and then go copy that, and then paste it, and then copy that. It's so much easier typing it out. Paste it. Connect the touchpad, hold volume down. I already did that in part two. If it didn't work, then I'll do it again. Script. Copy this, paste it, and then type in 16. Okay, now, it, ooh, it's, yeah, it didn't do that with, with uh, the old one. Sweet. So it's like doing everything it needs to do without doing, that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. So part two is pretty much useless. Pretty much useless. Just, um, hold power home and volume down for a good 30 seconds like it says that's the only part that I didn't do in this part of the video this is this is awesome <laughs> oh man I'll have a link to this web page or you can just type in bitly slash unbreak HP and then I'll also have a link to the uh live USB thing and you will just choose Ubuntu 12.04 i386 um, and then it'll download and then you'll just load that to a flash drive um, actually on my video installing Ubuntu Touch on the Nexus 7 I did all that stuff so this is amazing this is awesome developers just make this so easy for us So here's the touchpad. I don't know if and when it'll actually do something. It looks like it is. Focus on that. This is all new. Touchpad showing no signs of life at all right now. No signs of life. Checking as firmware. Maybe I should just like keep it right there until it does something. And I'll just like jerk the thing over to the the touchpad over to the screen whenever it does something. This is all new on territory I've never crossed into. Oh, and I'm using my Note 2 to record this in my iStabilizer XL phone mount and an old tripod. Still serves good purpose. Checking battery voltage percent. All done, rebooting touchpad. Oh, look at that! Boot! WebOS!
Look at that. Freaking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you have money, uh, anything like five, ten dollars, freaking donate it to developers. Like, click the link in the description and freaking donate to them if this helped you. This is amazing. This is amazing. The touchpad. Oh my god, my daughter has her touchpad back now. This is simply amazing. It's all done. I can unplug this and plug it into the official charger. This is really strange. It actually says it's a hundred percent. So the battery was full and it was never in a million years going to do anything until I ran this um, super easy thingy majig. That's awesome. Very freaking awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I don't really usually ask on this channel, but this was all unedited, unscripted, never ever done this before. This thing was a brick, and I unbricked it. So please give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And subscribe to my Josh is Nice of What Would Josh You channel for more videos like this.